Uh, I welcome you all for this uh, first lecture of a uh, planned series of lectures on to information, collaboration, collaboration, one quantum, one quantum Philippine station that uh, promotes quantum information. Well, in the 1990s, quantum and uh, well, at that time I was there's still a bit still young at that time. Uh, now we're still young. but <clears throat> well the development of quantum at that time I did not expect happens that a real quantum will be invented. At the moment, I think hey, Google, IBM, they are now, I mean, they have quantum computers already. And in fact, uh, IBM has uh, has a software development kit. We call it a QI kit. And, <clears throat> well, in sometime in, uh, sometime in July, uh, the university is organizing, we call hackathon. It is also through one quantum Philippines and uh, with the support of IBM. We'll be using QI's kit in the uh, hackathon. So, our speaker for today, well, I think you are familiar already with, uh, with him. He has been in the university for quite some time. He was actually, he was actually based in the States and uh, recently he decided to just stay in the Philippines and <clears throat> well in 1982 I think he was he was working in the Naval Research Laboratory in the States until 2003 then he went to he went to George Mason University and in the in the last uh, 10 years he was our colleague scientist he was actually working on condensed matter physics he introduced the Wigner uh, Wigner function in the, in the study of condensed matter systems. But now he's on uh, working on quantum information and computation. So now let us welcome Dr. Felix Booth. He will talk about channel uh, communication theory in quantum information. So Dr. Booth, I'll give you the floor. Thank you, Roland, for that uh, introduction. Uh, the idea is, uh, as Roland has already mentioned, this topic is actually becoming stream and uh, mainstream. So, I believe that nowadays, so I'm not an expert yet.
they are proud to reach what is this a race I do believe that the challenge is getting it and the challenge is getting it but we're going to talk about competition Recently, to see by Europe to expand the survival. Those are the resources of Europe. Here is the survival of the distance of the major breakthrough of the distance. This was the uh, population. See that the city was very far away. In fact, in full way to going into quantum internet. Quantum internet is a uh, communication. Let's go. A little bit more details on the Shannon, specific Shannon communication. Uh, you see, Shannon, this guy, invented measure of information. What is the measure of information? It's kind of a big idea, but what is on how to measure it? Uh, very mathematically, he said that this is the measure. Of if you have something that has a probability of happening, then the lag to one of that probability is the amount of information. So if you have a small probability, it means that more information. If, uh, if, uh, or, or a large number of bits to describe it, basically. In fact, uh, you know, uh, uh, turbulent or chaotic system, you don't know anything. And so that's how that's a information. So this is a, I think there's a big big thing that's happening here in, in, in this uh, concept of how to visualize information. Well, as you could imagine, the communication is made up of source of what you want source of visits. We encode the message, make it smaller, we transmit it, there might be noise, then we decode it, and hopefully we got to be, we, we got people into a, a, a read destination. So you got encoder, channel, and decoder. So this, this uh, setup is step through in quantum mechanics, in quantum system. Error pre communication is, of course, very desirable. So let's start with the question. How many different discrete voltages, levels, or information is can be sent while ensuring error pre communication? So, uh, of course, we have to consider noise in this case. So let's uh, assume this very simple stuff. We have a uh, discrete signals that you have to send, but there are noise. You say you need to create distributed voltage noise, uh, which is a value of of noise, uh, uh, the total signal, uh, or, or it could be channel, uh, the voltage V that you could use. And within that voltage V, you want to create messages. So these are supposedly discrete messages that you send. You can only the same this if it, it pulls you in plus or minus being number two, right? So, so obviously it is a very simple idea. Yeah. So let's uh, look at this carefully. Signal source which can generate voltages in range zero to the volts. It's like a, a, a kind of a 
standard that they can use. The new SOS, which can generate both is uh, Venus B retort or B retort Now, you send the escape packages, they zoom in with a new signal from the source. And then uh, the server will be able to decode if this is the signal uh, goes with, with in the middle of the uh, noise. So the number of different discrete packages which can be sent for ensuring error pre-combination is the total voltage divided by the noise voltage. So, so this is the kind of like a multiplicity division. So that's the number of different discrete voltages. So one, so, so in here is one, two, three, four, five, six, four at the moment. So uh, you cannot say more than that. You cannot crowd it because then things get a little bit. Now look at this about uh, being a Gaussian channel. In other words, the noise uh, of this Gaussian. Put this uh, probability where the average is zero and the variance is uh, just one of the you know, in the order two. The noise power then is uh, proportional to B squared. It should have, it should be, <coughs> it should be equal to, uh, it cannot be greater because otherwise you cannot see it. So, uh, I mean, the signal for this, so K, K under which is on this case, so the signal is about the signal. Otherwise, you can have the same bigger signal. So, uh, the noise power is the same. The meaning of this is the way to attack this problem is to look at the noise levels. So, why is it based this squared engineering? Uh, Well, power is IB, right? I is B, R, R, R is pushed up anyway, so that's B squared. So uh, it, it, it just want to express it in terms of voltage. So, if you agree with this, that, that's the basis of option. So the average total signal plus noise is we are talking about voltage again. We want to look at voltage so that you take the square up. We get the square up. Yes. And then for, for the noise, we get again the square up. So, uh, the number M of different messages which can be reliably be transmitted is uh, this ratio here, which becomes uh, this. This, this signal was noise over noise. Uh, so, if you agree with that, then we can talk about capacity. Capacity. This is the same as a simple thing before. So, the capacity is equal to the log of the number of number of signal you can send. Uh, uh, the square root will not happen, but one place will appear. Bench per transmission. That's the capacity of the channel. Okay. Uh, this is very important because then you know, you know how, how, much, how many uh, information you can send in the channel. Now, let's bring in the bandwidth. Uh, we assume that the, the noise is distributed over the bandwidth B, uh, call it A sub over 2, which we assume for. And so the total noise over the bandwidth means B to B is A sub over B. So the noise power is B to B. You probably heard about high bandwidth communication, uh, 5G, something like all, all these kind of things. And 
So that's how you know, we can do it. We did it one way to do it. Okay. So, yeah, so that's how it works. The total uh, rate, symbol rate, is one of the two P. And the band rate has to be related to that because that's a, uh, if you want the, the, the symbol to repeat after T, so you need a, the smallest band rate that you can use. So what is the smallest band rate? Well, uh, for one of the T, is the smallest band rate uh, for that, or, 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 or okay. The available bandwidth rate, the maximum symbol rate, is 2B. You know why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a question of what is the highest frequency you can, you can sing, the lowest frequency you can sing. Uh, here, uh, what you do is there's a capacity now, you just collect the bandwidth. To be, you know, the bed there was one half here, then it will to be, this can see one half. This is the bit we can. This is the channel equation for capacity of band limited relative wide Lucian noise channel with a very transmit power constraint. So, uh, engineering people, communication, uh, this is probably a uh, uh, mundane kind of equation. Well, I ask you, why is it too deep? Well, being a condensed matter physicist, I look into the band, band uh, idea of the crystal. So the crystal, this, if this is the symbol, if you look at it as a symbol, the repetition is symbol, and it's separated by A, but um, before it was separated by T, large T. So, you see, the highest frequency you can have is, the, or the lowest um, wavelength that you can have is 2, 2A, two or 2T. Two so if B is proportional to 1 over 2T, therefore, symbol rate of transmission is 1 over T, 2B. Okay? That, that just uh, so that, that kind of justified the uh, 2P uh, 1T. You, you can just think of this as a symbol of repetition. Could be different symbols. Okay, talk about capacity again. Uh, let, let's do a more real, realistic stuff. Uh, how many sequences are there? Assume there is an alphabet. This alphabet is a symbol. Okay. You have uh, up to the N alphabet. For example, if you have A, A is 0, 1, and then you got A, and then A equals 2. You know that? Okay. Now, assume okay. that each letter appears in a sequence of interest with probability uh, in between 0 and 1, and that the sum of probability is 1. Assume further that the exact letter taken taken by AI and AG are independent, uh, subject of course to the probability. The length T of the sequences we are interested could be anything but uh, uh, from the statistical point of view is quite large. It's almost like uh, thermodynamic type of stuff. And say the other side of the case, T goes to infinity. Large number, like uh, my ball, for example, or you know, uh, will view as a series of independent experiments, and the possible outcomes of these letters is uh, this probability of pi. Now, the number of sequences is the number of different ways of piecing the total, the total number is t. And multiply with the uh, uh, probability is a number of the i. Uh, and they it is a number of different ways for pressing 10 different for 
and the different vaccines as I did there are TP1 dose, first bar, TP2 dose, second bar, and TP dose, the last bar, is in, which is the available signal. So this is a little bit in the torch here. Uh, We, we can enumerate this, for example, if t equals 5 and n equals 2, there will be two different signals. Then, answer there is uh, how many different views of placing two balls plus part, assume that two balls plus part, and three balls in the second part. Uh, okay. Of course, there is repetition because there are only n, now two. So there is a, actually a permutation 5, and by permutation of 2, and then square root 5 and the permutation of 2, or by the way, so there are 10 different ways that work. Okay? This is by the permutation of There is a total number of sequences we are interested in, noted by T and skipping by the first box, the permutation of T, permutation of this number, times now in your tactic. Nice thing here, sir. Now you take out the. This is done already. You take out and then produce it. And then you take out all those things. Because all those are already done. And then you take the TP. Now, if you do this, uh, use the uh, large number of sterling formula, we get this time. So this becomes like this. And if you take the log of that, this becomes like this. Uh, uh, then, uh, as t goes to infinity, then we got this. This is actually the shallow entropy. Uh, any question? He, he didn't use it in the dynamics, but he got uh, a couple of the topics. So the number, the average number of bits, the little heads in a mixing sequence of length t, the state was transmitted to the This is a number of bits, by the way. This is not a head. This is a number of bits. This is a number of bits here is a general name So, the idea, the amount of information in liter will probably be AI, PI, has to be this one. You can take in Gabriel's. You take in Gabriel's here with AI. So, information. So, that must be, that must be it. So, if the liter has a higher probability, it has less information and vice versa. Or does it contain more information? Great. Uh, this, this really, uh, Shannon Jury really uh, make this information jury very quantitative. Now, another uh, thing that Shannon has uh, worked on is the uh, data compression encoding. It's similar, you learn about JPEG and JPEG, JPEG, these are, these are uh, compression. Putting the source so that it requires pure bits to represent the output paper. So let's say that we have, a, uh, we have a ABCD symbols. And probability of A is 100, probability of B is 8. Probability C is one four, probability D one eight. And so maybe you can present this, you can call this. Uh, I can call A zero zero, B zero one, C one zero, D one one. That's fine, you can call it. But that obviously use two bits of data. Now the expected length of that uh, kind of coding is two bits. Can you, make, can you make it smaller? Well, if that is most probable, I just use a zero for that. It's variable kind of uh, coding. And if it is less 
and zero on each pin. But what, what happened here is that this is only really a, a, a good picture of entanglement. So, uh, if this is zero, zero, and I, I, I move this up, it becomes one, one. Uh, if this is uh, zero, one, and if I move this up, it becomes one, zero. So I have to combine that. I have to separate the, the, the possible states of this system. And in quantum mechanics, you have to combine it. When you combine it, uh, uh, I call it is a, we call it Hadamard transform. Uh, let me uh, give you a little bit. Uh, uh, this actually is a, uh, if I'm a solid, if I'm a, a solid state physicist, I call this the momentum states. I call this the uh, uh, one year states. And then I, I transform this discreetly into this two. So what this is actually, some people call this the Hadamard state, uh, some people call this of course, the Bell state. So they, they, I don't know why they have so many names for this. Okay. It's just, you can just get it, isn't it? Uh, what's the big deal about it? So anyway, uh, P plus, P minus will be, what P plus is 0, 0 plus 1, 1. Of course, there's 1 half there. And P minus will be 0, 0 minus 1, 1. This is entangled state. For this one, triplet, psi plus is 0, 1 plus 1, 0. And psi minus is 0, 1, minus 1, 0. So this is, this is what happened. And these are, these are known as the Bayer basis. basis. Why is it called basis? Because they are autonomous. They can, mix, they can expand in any other stage. But these are entangled basis states. That's why it's called Bayer basis. Bayer is a very, even has a infinity Bayer inequality uh, for quantum mechanics, it's supposed to be good. Uh, so I guess you got, the, you got this name. <laughs> Still right here. But you can also use circuit diagram, really, uh, which is what people are. People do not use that model, <laughs> but they use this circuit diagram. You can use it, you can generate an entangled state by this one. Other mark, uh, I mentioned this, uh, this is actually other mark transportation. Uh, as a solid state, I call this transition function from, uh, from uh, what is point to uh, momentum. Anyway, uh, if you do this, zero becomes, uh, think of this as a prism. Prism. You put light. If you assume it becomes uh, divided into a uh, different spectrum. So you put zero there, which is high. Yeah. Then you can one up zero plus one. I, 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 okay. And then seeing that gate, uh, what happens is that you, you put the, this zero here. You have to combine it, right? But the seeing that gate, where if this is zero, that will be zero, zero. But this is one, it changes zero to one. So you got it, one, one. This is the build, the, one of the build pieces, very fast. So I can generate uh, entanglement for the circuit. This has been a round circuit. So. Oh, this is a, I just want to mention that uh, control nut. In fact, Feynman was a, uh, it means that the timer is supposed to uh, give this a video. Which is actually uh, a, a, a vision of something in the circuit world of classicals. So, you say before you have a, a tow, tow, system, tow system, one is a control, one is a target. So, in this case, what is the after? Well, the control is still zero, the target is still zero. Now, again, 
uh, head, the control is zero, uh, the target is one. And then it doesn't affect because the control is still zero, it doesn't affect the chain. But the control is one, and the target is zero, it changes into one one. Because one, one, the second one says change. Zero is a, is a change. So one, it changes, and then one, it changes to one zero. So that's a, a, a control, control case. Any question? You can ask question, you can interrupt me if you want to. Now, other mark business versus computational business. This is the language of uh, computers. Uh, 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 but you can think of this as a black function business versus one year function business. As a solid state business, I can do that. <laughs> So, uh, momentum zero one, I can um, expand it into the one year function because this is this state free transform. So, uh, right hand side is the Hadamard Hadamard business in terms of computational business or black function in terms of one year function. <laughs> uh, I, I, the nice thing about science is that if you have some exposure in other stuff, we can identify it. Or in your life, if you have experience in other stuff, you can understand some other stuff. Yeah. It's just analogy. Life is a bunch of analogy uh, from the experience. So that is the thing I have experience in this matter of physics, I understand this in terms of condensed matter. Well, black spare, well, for two systems that are two states, we can analyze this in terms of black spare. Black introduced this kind of describing it. Um, what's important here is that all states of the two state system can be described by half of the spare. So, uh, part I'd like to assign this as a project and undergraduate student. <laughs> we'll look into it. Now, uh, from, so this, is, this is generalized polymetric metrics equator. In other words, for toasted system, you have polymetrics. But for other system, we could be discrete or so many. We have this operator. We have this operator. So, this operator. Depends on Q and P. Q and P could be any number in the state. But if you have two only, then you can, de you can derive all the polymetrics. Uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, Q is 0, 1, and P is, uh, I'll just say, basically 0, 1, represent uh, the hospital. Uh, are uh, also obvious mutual arithmetic. In two state system, one plus one is two, and two is zero. We don't have two anymore. Okay, that's modular. Okay. There are lots of stuff in, uh, in, 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 in this. Well, okay, uh, I mentioned that, that this is y zero zero is identity. Y01 is uh, G, well, this is a G, a polymetric G, and Y10 is a polymetric X, G by X, sigma G, and Y11 is a, as a sigma Y. This can be also derived by multiplying X and G. So, these are qubit operators, they operate on qubits. One qubit. Uh, these are qubit operators are uh, the xj, xj, and uh, xg. Uh, x and j or combination of xj. This is sigma y. That's important to so what you can do with qubit. So, 
quantum teleportation. Uh, this is a quantum teleportation. Actually, it goes from here. Here we have the third quantum. K and B, Alice and Bob, that's it. Then you uh, look at Alice and some, have some unknown information is going to proceed to Bob, and that is his st hair state. And then you, can, uh, you want to experience hair state in terms of hair uh, entangled pieces. You can always, uh, because busy states are a busy state, you can expand anything. And, and, so you can do that, and then we have this one. So let's, let's do this uh, stuff uh, slowly. Okay. Okay. First, Alice and Bob share the maximum entangled business state with the hand. And let's put papers as their entangled. And then I use zero and the power of E. And zero is for B, and they have these symbols. Because I, I'm just realizing the like the solution. So, so Alice has two particles. One is the one that you want to sing to Bob, and the other one is the one they serve with Bob. So let's say uh, you are unidentified, unidentified particles are Alice. We want she wants to teleport, and A is one of the double pair. That is paired with Bob's particle B. E and B is Alice and Bob has been to be the business for a long time. I don't know if we got married. So let's look at Alice, Alice's uh, system. Alice has a, uh, he wants to. Let me put this side. But he has a, he has part of the plan. So the three system, they has Alice, and then combine with what they have with Bob. So this is Alice, an unknown, plus Alice and Bob. So we can expand this into this. It's not the best expansion. Okay. So let's, again, I mentioned that. I can I can express Alice in terms of bill visits. So young A is now Alice the bill visits. And I can I can then I can then express this uh, this product of in Alice in terms of hair business, instead of in terms of bill business. And then that that thing separately can share this. Now, Bob, this is a big Bob thing. So that's a. Just a. Just a. Go to the competition. So, it is great. Uh, there is a bit of that. And then finally, we got into this. That Alice entangled with his idea. I did. I don't know. He wants to sing. And then uh, Bob has his alpha beta. Uh, but if Alice uh, is in this state, then uh, Bob has to be in this state. If Alice is in the state, Bob has to be in the state. And if Alice is in the state, Bob has to be in that state. Okay? So, the actual teleportation starts when Alice misuses her two cubits. In good business. Given about expression, the result of her vision is a big business of others. So it could be this or this. So that the three particle will collapse to one of the following posting equal probability of it. So it will collapse into this state. You know, if he if he misses this, then Bob, then Bob has this. If you miss your list, then Bob happens. If you miss your list, then Bob happens. If you miss your list, then Bob happens. So, does, so Bob has this particle. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. 
The local measurement done by others on the field basis is the crucial step. We saw that the bear measurement, again, bear is the bear with the bear basis, tells her which of the four states of the system is in. They simply have to send her a soul to Bob through a tow bit musical channel to call it which one of the four the soul sent in. If she obtain this, Bob doesn't have to do anything. If she obtain this, Bob has to invert this. Uh, in words, uh, Bob has to do something to get to Alpha Beta. Bob has to do something to get to Alpha Beta, pure Alpha Beta, and so on. Your question? So, let's uh, look at it carefully. If Alice indicates the result is P plus, Bob simply to form identity in the entire prison, or no nothing. Because he, he has an alpha blue. If the message indicates a minus, Bob would send the given through the entire gate by the parametric. Because uh, if you do that, you can uh, identify the alpha beta again. Recover the state. The published message is recited, but Bob applies the gate. All this, by the way, sigma squared as a day to day. All these sigmas. So that's why that will be a good one. Finally, in the remaining case, they could make sigma is in sigma one, the sigma is in So finally, if you do the last, the above has to do something, but then after that, the reportation is less extreme. After this equation, Bob's qubit will be on the state side. Alpha 0 plus beta 1. After that. So Bob state has changed into alpha 0 plus beta 1, which is what uh, Alice is sending in. Well, Alice, of course, qubit becomes undefined. Part of the entangled state has served as a recent conservation principle. The reportation does not result in copying of uh, qubits. It doesn't it have to be. You know, Star Trek, we destroyed and the other one. And, uh, so, it was destroyed in Amis, but appeared in Bob. That's what I'm doing for this one. That's actually. It's all right. That's, no. that, that's not always the case. Interpretation, yeah, that's always the case. You, the, the one that you send is destroyed by uh, at the Alice, it's destroyed, it's received by Bob. Yeah, yeah. Once the mission is done. Because if it is not destroyed at Alice, you have copying. But copying is no go. It's not allowed in the interpretation. So, it totally copied the whole information after it's destroyed or... Oh, after it's destroyed, it appears as bad. Yeah, but the information uh, is completely copied, so perfectly copied. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, completely. In fact, uh, actually, remember, Alice sent two classical bits, this is the same result. But what happens is that with two classical bits, you are able to transmit four quantum state, which in the black square is actually a range of quantum state, because alpha beta could be complex. So it's more, you get more states than just two bits. So the, the, the Star Trek idea is actually, I don't care, <laughs> it's a small kind of state. So now, uh, so uh, that's what it is. It's a four quantum information is transfer. Transfer using the two classical bits. We call that a black square anomalous in the state of the particle transported can be described by a continuous point and a unit pair. 
That's a lot of states. Depends. But go again under the just by final two bits. The government is providing an important quantum channel for the transmission of poor quantum information. For every qubit transported, Alice needs to send back total square bits. These total square bits that carry complete information about the qubit being transported. transported. If the eggs drop her, if something intersected, uh, uh, so we know exactly what it needs to do, but it doesn't have the box uh, state, so you cannot do anything. So it's not very much. Check secured, secured communication. Now let us discuss another aspect of uh, quantum shadow and information theory, and this is the quantum socket of schooling. But the, uh, 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 Super beans. <laughs> the use of entanglement resource also plays a role in something like schooling. With the assumption that Alice and Bob shares entangled state beforehand, before being doing any transformation, uh, sending pieces. Two classical bits per qubit can be transferred. So the the assumption that they showed the tango state before is just like having a paper to write. Without the paper, you can't write. Okay. So he's writing on a on the four tango tango basis of how is it done? transfer of information. So the scoring is based on the observation that given some entangled state. Green pieces of toasted system. Served by Alice and Bob, there are local unitaries, known to Alice, which will map the served bare pieces onto any one of the other state living to the pieces, apart from the other of these. Other, and that's important. Also, Bob has a, a local unitaries, and these local unitaries are the parallel matrices, all the operators, both of them are. Now, the point is that if you do something one of the bits by unitarity, one of the unitaries, it just changes the other two pieces. So, so you, you have this pair, you know, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. You can, you can, because if you make two particles, you can align it into the, so that you can have matrices of transparent transparencies. So, for example, uh, uh, for, the, for that kind of uh, different uh, pixel across items, you only operate the pixel and item, you can do anything. You have identity. G1 to item, again, G1 to item. So this one. Suppose I suppose I listen to the real pieces. This one. Uh, uh, the real pieces this one. And uh, you want to change it to uh, oh, okay, this is the real pieces. I suppose it, that is the big pieces, you can change it. This you have to can change it. We always can not list all the big pieces that are feeling all the cubic. Uh, so this is it. If we list this, this is the big pieces, you get into this, you uh, get into this, this is the zero minus. So you create uh, x1 and this big pieces, you get into uh, Side class. So, use conventional matrices. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this one, this matrix is. Uh, the problem with this is that we use this one in the second position instead of first. So, we like to continue using Alice and Bob. It's better to do that. So, Alice, Bob, so Alice the first, and Bob the second. Right. 
So let's see. The clothes and biscuits is in the dog number two. Obviously, you get to the dog number two. So, obviously, open it and then Sigma X, Sigma X, Sigma X. So, if you do that, it becomes B plus from sub plus. This is, this is another good business there. The same as it. The problem is, the base, sigma x. So they repeat this thing. I just can see two bits of classical information to find by encoding and encoding this thing, then this is. So, you just can do it. Well, sorry, the integral business that are for this can build this. So you can, you can save here one of those and two minutes. Decoding. Now, there's an encoding. Decoding. Uh, what does this do? This is decoding. After this two, just to make the mystery. And then you get it. Now suppose I always transform to this so that the rectangle pieces will be like this. And then C now, C now, the mutual repo, control C now, C, control C now. This is the target, this is the control. So the, the first one is the control, the second is the target. So after C now, because the zero doesn't change it. But this is one, so it changes the zero. Signal. So this is the after the signal. And then after the element gate, this becomes this one. And you see it becomes zero zero. That's a classical fact. So I guess a proposition is just a it is a okay. So suppose I is this is similar. And they say that let me say it's zero, but one, one, and zero. Change. And then rather than transform, this becomes like one, and then we get secondary so one zero. This is just possible. All this can be done. Uh, they have the surveys, and they say now that we can change it to uh, this. And then the land market gets to the Which again, like this. So, uh, you can change two, two bits. See, these are two bits. One, 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 zero, zero, one. So, two bits by just manipulating one qubit. That's a something else. One that becomes two times. So this is the summary. Uh, if I if I do this, then Bob got this. If I do this, Bob got this. If I do this, Bob got this. If I do this, Bob got that. So, but Alice is just. And you put it in one qubit, and Bob is getting classical bits. This is two, two bits. That is separate scoring. They call it a separate scoring. Uh, I didn't completely. Uh, but if you agree that it has been rearranged before, the entanglement before, then the, the rest is separate scoring. So after being entangled, summarizing, we could actually encode two bits of classical information by selectively applying uh, unitaries to one of the shared entangled bits. This technique, this technique is called separate scoring. It actually leverages the build state to include classical information into a pair of entangled fields. This is actually also difficult to uh, abstract because of this uh, 
It's almost like the repetition time. So, uh, this uh, actually is uh, it's actually what happened if you have to make it uh, the adjustment table, you will see that pair operation, you then encode it, uh, uh, make it into a uh, insert it, and then this uh, decoding is, un is untangling it. Yeah. And this is more secure because uh, you do the satellite uh, distributed, then nobody can intercept it anymore. Yeah, as you said, it doesn't know anything what has been said. Beautiful. So, I don't know what time is it. This is all for now. Uh, actually, there are so many things that we have not discussed. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, this is very challenging. Uh, to be uh, not a single hotel. Topics we have not discussed is what is a quantum channel? The capacity of quantum channel. The capacity of noisy quantum channel. Oh, there's some. So what, this, is, this is a very active field of research. Uh, so that it's a coming up. So uh, I would say that I have to end. <laughs> Otherwise, we have to. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Dr. Bot, for that uh, enlightening talk. Uh, well, we still have plenty of time for interaction. So, may I? have a question from the audience. Later on, there are also questions online. I mean, there are people who are attending online. I mean, I actually informed the engineering students. I'm not, the School of Engineering told the dean that uh, we have this, this session. So we, they are attending online. So let me have first question from, live question from here. All right, uh, maybe you're you're still digesting. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, quantum computing is not an easy topic to digest, to understand. I mean, your experience in quantum mechanics, quantum mechanics is not easy. It is difficult conceptually and also mathematically. So let me first uh, take some questions from the from online. Uh, there's a question here from Juan David. Quantum computing is so exciting. How do we separate myth or hype from reality? Myth, myth, and uh, or hype. Uh, when there are people who claim that quantum computing is a myth. No, uh, maybe if you are if you are in the 1990s. It's completely me, but this time it's real. It's solving problems that cannot be solved basically for 10 billion years, but you can solve it. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, I would say that uh, there's a neck, neck to neck uh, competition between US and China, but I do believe China is an upper hand. Yeah, we need to cut the buckles, right? And, uh, it, should, it should be the bigger. But it's not a bit. 
it's real. It can solve problems. In fact, in my roadmap, uh, uh, it can solve uh, complex problems in this year, as a duty trip, and by duty trip, banking, banking, uh, blockchain, and all this kind of stuff will now be commonplace. So you better uh, get ready for that. No longer no, made, really, that, that's an initial concept from the 1990s, but this time people are really uh, uh, going into it. All universities in the United States are racing there. Uh, Tokyo has, uh, I mean, uh, Toshiba has done something uh, real by transmitting quantum communication over 600 kilometers. This is a quantum communication, not among the inmates. So I, I would say that uh, it, it wasn't made before, but now it's uh, uh, by the way, qu quantum information and computation is now, I mean, the USD has now a roadmap for quantum information and computation. In fact, we are soliciting proposals for uh, research funding. And, uh, well, the, the aim is to be quantum-enabled economy in, I think it's 2040. But then, <laughs> Well, uh, it's very. I mean, if you develop the hardware, it's very expensive. So that is maybe the Philippines can just focus on the algorithms and programming. Okay, uh, keep the question. I <laughs> if you have a strong voice. Uh, just wondering, I heard there was like more stuff, which basically about the exponential rate of the improvement of computation. I'm just wondering, does that now still hold for a quantum computing? <laughs> the, you mean the more slow uh, integrated circuits? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, I think it has a parallel uh, concept. You can uh, increase the number of qubits, and uh, 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 slowly increase the number of functional uh, devices in the circuits. Uh, so at this point, uh, we did it a bit more slow in the quantum sense, but they are increasing the number of qubits. Uh, we did it this doubling in the but of the real, uh, I'm not so sure. It's, it's probably the, the, the train is probably slower than in the integrated circuit community because the integrated circuit is very really stabilized. You can just pattern it and print it. Uh, this time, the uh, inventing qubits is still uh, infancy. And so the, the way you increase the number of qubits, the hard part is increasing the qubits to square root to six, two root to six qubits, a programmable uh, computer, not a computer. But uh, uh, nobody has mentioned that it is increasing exponentially, like the uh, integrated so circuit. Like the oh yeah, uh, the capability to compute. Of course, just like in classical computing, the capability uh, or the power of computing is based on number of functional uh, devices. So here, the qubits, uh, in terms of screen, is a pixel. The more pixel you have, the more beautiful picture you have. So the capacity. Same idea. Uh, there's another question here, uh, still from Juan David. Uh, what is your opinion of quantum analysts like uh, D-Wave? I think he's referring to a company in Canada. Uh, the company is called D-Wave. I'm not very familiar with D-Wave, but I think it's more like... Uh, it's kind of different from 
uh, dates or cubits. Uh, it seems like uh, analog there. Right? So I, I, I'm not familiar with it. I, I cannot answer the question uh, because I don't think uh, that, uh, it's kind of cubit base or something like that. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Doc. Um, you mentioned earlier that we can um, apply custom computing in a post. Yeah. Is it, the, it? Are you talking about like transmitting information outside <laughs> from a black hole outside? Uh, Is this what you were referring to, Doc? Uh, I'm referring to Hawkins, the uh, use of quantum information or to the entropy. Ah, so uh, Radiation from the black hole can use the entropy principle. Uh, so, so we can. can quantum information. Uh, uh, so a quantum uh, communication. Uh, so, did you mean like we can use quantum computing uh, from the black hole? I think uh, Hawking's uh, use a uh, conservation of information. I think he said that the information is not lost. So sometimes we get it back. Uh, uh, so at the horizon, you know what is going inside, and you don't miss something in the horizon. It's like a little bit of a sounding scan. You know what is inside by looking at what is uh, written outside. So, uh, it's a kind of holographic principle, we call it. In other words, we just study the horizon to know what's going on. And some of the technique that Hawking is using is the entropy, is the same as you know. So, it's like a thermodynamic type of uh, reasoning, it's not only really communication from inside and outside. So the back, the back body reduction there. We can entertain, uh, let us entertain a question from uh, online. This is from Asher Manangan. What field of mathematics can you recommend for someone who is interested learning about quantum information? I think a whole lot of mathematics. <laughs> uh, I, I think the see, quantum mechanics is, is full of uh, is now merging with pure mathematics. So people are talking about topological computers. Uh, so topology maybe. Uh, of course, you have the linear algebra, Hilbert uh, space, and this kind of stuff. So, depends on what you're trying to really achieve. Uh, so, uh, really, uh, I would say I would not point in a specific mathematics, but uh, depending on what you want, want to specialize. Because uh, the political cubic is also being investigated. But you need the topology of that. Uh, you string theory, but actually get into it. Get it on. So, uh, uh, well, the basic mathematics is simple. Uh, basically, superposition, the Hilbert space, uh, uh, quantum mechanics, uh, the original quantum mechanics. Uh, it's good enough for some purpose. But if you go into understanding some of the certain aspects of qubits and how, we then start trying to implement qubits, uh, then uh, you might get into the sticky, sticky part of uh, quantum mechanics, which uh, involves a lot of mechanics. But basic quantum mechanics, of course, we start with. <clears throat> so once there is four, uh, there is also a uh, field of gaming. 
whether they apply actual information or transactional information in complex networks. So I was wondering if there's an analog or there's also a run applying the quantum and transactional information in different types of complex networks. Is that adapting here? Uh, what, what, what complex system are you doing? Uh, for example, they try to study information flow in complex networks. I was wondering if there is an analog to that instead of just using the classical information flow, you have this quantum information flow in you know, complex networks, not just this one way uh, flow for flow information between Bob and Isaac. Yeah, I think they're, they're talking about uh, quantum circuits. Quantum network, quantum circuit. So there is a there is a corresponding uh, task in terms of uh, this, it's just that the what you call protocols are different. But uh, you'll find that there is uh, always an analogy with shadow theories, it's classical uh, so the capacity, uh, including and uh, but uh, it's more complex in the quantum terms. Because, you know, you can mention that nobody understands quantum mechanics, so uh, it's more complex. But uh, all those kind of classical stuff are being pursued in quantum computing. Oh. We'll be realized because uh, we can do more things on a vast amount of calculation that will take centuries to be in Mexico. For example, factoring uh, the large prime number. Uh, it's uh, very easy in quantum uh, algorithm, where it will take years and years uh, uh, because that's supposed to be a separate key, and, uh, it's supposed to be a secret encryption using, using large by number and then have to factor it again. Any other questions? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, uh, sir. It's okay. Professor, when you discuss quantum computing, do you introduce a generalized power spin matrices? Power spin matrices are similarly described to spin one up particles like electrons. How can you describe, how can you make or generalize these power spin matrices? Uh, yes. This is a very, very good question. Uh, no, uh, in the sense that if I do that kind of rule up or generalize, if I go to a two state system, I get a power matrices. But if I don't go to that two state system, I have a general quantum operator. Do you uh, make sure to change the physical? Yeah, they, they, this is a. Universal quantum operator is the one I gave you. Uh, but if you have a two stage, three stage system that work, works, 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 in your, when you introduce your uh, Shannon classical field, you calculate your equations using the logarithm to the base t of this equation. Instead of using the usual basis 10 or e, in order to simplify and calculate your equations easily, why do you use the base 2 in your calculation? The, you mean the basis? They will be to the base two. Oh, I mean, interesting. Uh, because Shano does it. <laughs> well, uh, because. Uh, That's a lot of Yeah, he, he is base two because uh, if you have uh, two bits, 
that is uh, I, I guess because the cube uh, classical bits in general, classical bits is uh, something to do with on and off you know, binary binary system. So he, he, he used that. One so, final question. When you talk about uh, quantum teleportation, you, you have this uh, exchange of your space from one space to another space. In the case of Alice and Bob, can Alice and Bob do quantum teleportation at the same time? Well, can Alice and Bob yes. be sure? The same quantum teleportation. It's a, they can change. Oh, I see. Can they, can they exchange other way around? Yes. I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> can you describe this in terms of the same quantum? Well, uh, you can just reverse uh, Alice and Bob's role. Because once uh, Bob receives it, he might want to uh, return it to Alice. Yeah. And then the, the procedure that he has to do is just the same as Alice. But actually, that, that's a little bit uh, too simplified because what happens is when you receive it, they don't have any more entanglement. Uh, Bob is just at that state, and so you have to restore entanglement to do that again. So, uh, yeah, it, it's not reversible. Uh, the answer is not reversible. But you have to do something again to restore. Uh, original uh, arrangement to so. Okay, professor. <laughs> uh, there's a question online again. What, what do you think is the best time for companies to invest in quantum technologies? Uh, it depends on where, where, where this company is. Uh, if we're talking about companies in advanced countries, it's probably the right time. Or they probably lead really. <laughs> but if we are talking about companies in the Philippines, probably not the time. It probably takes more investment to do that. Because we didn't have experience. We started studying, 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 studying. So, we can get employed, get employed, employees. Uh, employed, employees. So. Yeah, I think we can. Maybe it's software. Oh, we can probably do it. Yeah. Uh, run. I, I don't know because you can run the. I think. I think more on the manpower. Yeah, it's a so manpower we, problem. There are a lot of people who are trained. Yes. That's the thing they are That so. will. That will attract companies to invest here. Yes. Or we can flood the world with physicists, just like we flood the world with nurses. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's impossible. That, that, that's why I think uh, we should start with some sort of collaborative interdepartmental effort. So yeah. it should not be more uh, physics specific only or engineering specific. It should be a different group. It's actually should be collaborative with yeah. computer science or some of the people that are interested in electrical engineering, neurobiology, uh, all this stuff. Because infrastructure-wise, we cannot compete. But if we can train people, then that's our case. We should probably start using it. It's just like there's a refrigerator, we start to make use of it, and then understand that as a time solution. Yeah. So, whether you want to make a refrigerator right away, I don't know what you do. So, we're, we're using it, uh, especially in the financial world, uh, bitcoins and blockchain and all these kinds of crypto currencies, uh, we will be forced to use it. But, uh, as time goes on, we have been built something. Software, we are right to do that. And software is a good thing. We can produce it because hardware uses a lot of expertise, extremely focused. 
uh, there's a question about roadmap, quantum computing roadmap. Uh, I think uh, I've mentioned this already. DOSD has a roadmap already for quantum computation. Uh, the slogan is, we will have quantum enabled economy in 2014. And uh, you can, I think, uh, you can find the roadmap in the DOSD website, in Fisher, Fisher website. I think you can find it there. All right. Uh, is there maybe one or two questions more, then we have to end this uh, session. Uh, Kim? Uh, another question. You mentioned that in NASA quantum teleportation that the exchange of information happens almost or instantaneously. So my question is what, what, for example, Alice is somewhere very far away. Would that uh, instantaneous exchange of action, uh, of information still happen? And if so, would that violate special relativity? <coughs> That was the uh, interpretation about teleportation before. Actually, there is no such thing as instantaneous in teleportation because Alice has to send his result through classical means. So, there is no violation of the speed of light. And things like that. There is no, because you still have to use classical channel to uh, lead bad no what is the shortest. But literally, they have transported complete quantum uh, information. Okay. So, you sometimes they call it uh, LOCC, local, local operation, classical communication. It's a LOCC kind of protocol. So there's no, no violation. And yeah. there's no, no cloning, no copy. Also. Because those are, those are similar no go theorems in quantum uh, information about computing, which you will really, you cannot be very good. By the way, you, young people, should be challenged with this. Because they are, it has a wide application. It is going to be the future. Um, employment will be unique something as a future. We need to invest in that. We need to have, uh, it's just like computers in the way. There's a wide application. So the commission, if you have to be in a commission, you have to be in a computer. Uh, it's a lot of uh, future. So young people, you are it's in your house. Uh, then there's a question from Pamela. Why, why is there no loss of why is there no loss of information? Oh yeah. Uh, interesting. You know that uh, I also bubble the mind about that. Well also it's uh, wonderful what if you lose information? Do you, do you, where does it go? Where does it go? Do you really lose it? Or it does it disappear somewhere? Uh, the black holes are interesting because they said it's supposed that something goes inside, you lose it. But actually, Hawking said, you know, you, you know what's going on? That's what has been lost by, because there is no loss of information. That's actually what Hawking said, yes. So, uh, you say, uh, do you really lose information? Uh, uh, information is uh, bits. <laughs> so, where does it go? Uh, I don't know. That's a com complex question, but uh, there is a conservation of information. So, please, consensus, there is a consensus. Conservation of information. Does it mean does it then uh, goes into life sciences? Um, if you have, uh, you have uh, information, and if you're gone, where did information go? Is it your soul? 
I said, what do you put the soil? <coughs> so, this is like water, uh, conservation water. Yes. Uh, uh, Doc, uh, is there uh, such thing as information and energy equivalence, just like mass energy equivalence? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, see, uh, information is uh, see now, how you classify? Mass is uh, has something to do with uh, matter, right? Eh? Matter. So, information has something to do with, with the mind, or something like that. So, it's not that the mind is same. No. Uh, uh, but the information can be is related to the speed up and speed down, right? Uh, yes, which? Speed up and speed down has energy. So. Uh, no, I think uh, energy is uh, the way you transform it. Okay? Energy makes them change. But abstractly, you have two states. And then, probability, uh, you do it your probability, uh, two states. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, 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 it's a little bit reckoning. Uh, uh, the mechanism of changing is a different arena. But the information of being changed is another one. The use of kindness probability is respected of what mechanism in our change. So you can just use probability and But the act of changing, the process of changing, make use of the energy, but that process is a process. The information is something different. Hey, is it up or is it down? That's what you need, need to know. But if, if, you want, if you want to change the process and the state, it's not this. I think. Because we just want knowledge of up to down. The other one we want to change from up to down. So, there's a different. Uh, the other one is so forgiving and then just so you know. The other one is so. Well, uh, sad to say that we have to end the session. And thank you, thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you, Dr. Bolt, for a very good talk. Now, <clears throat> well, as I have mentioned, this is uh, there will be a series of lectures regarding quantum computation. So, perhaps uh, in two weeks' time, I can have the, the other talk. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll try to find some <laughs> some speakers also. Maybe online they can give the the, the talk. Okay. So, uh, by the way, there are still refreshments available. All right. Thank you.